everyone, it's Holly the Twister Sister here with another balloon tutorial for you. This is a really cute ladybug. I know I already have a ladybug tutorial, but this is a completely different way of doing it and I love it and it's my new go-to ladybug. So stay tuned and let's get ready to twist. <laughs> Okay, so the cool thing about this ladybug is that it looks great on its own, but you can also easily change it to be a bracelet or a headband without adding any extra balloons to it. So what we're gonna need is three 260s. I'm gonna be using a yellow, green, and a black. And then you're also gonna need two five inch rounds. I've got the white five inch round for the eyeballs, and then these really cool red polka dotted five inch rounds that already have the black spots on them. So we don't have to draw the spots on our ladybug or anything. We can pretty much just blow this up and the ladybug body is done. So let's go ahead and get started. Grab your pump and I'm gonna start with the green balloon first. This is gonna be the base and we just wanna put about four pumps of air in here, not too much. And you're gonna to wanna to make a seven petal flower out of this. If you are not sure how to do that, or if you're new to headbands and bracelets, go check out David Brennan's video on how to do the seven petal flower. He's got some uh, great tips on there and he explains it really well. And uh, it's just the best base to use for this kind of stuff, especially if you're going to end up making this into a headband. Um, if it's just gonna be a bracelet or you're just giving it to somebody, to sit on their table or something, then it doesn't matter quite as much that you do the seven petal flower. But I like to do it just in case. That way I can turn this into anything I want it to be and I don't have to go back and change anything later. So there I've got my seven petal flower all ready to go. And I'm just gonna set this down for a second. Now the next part of this is going to be the red five inch round with the black polka dots. I love these things, they're so cool. So go ahead and blow that up, put about two pumps of air. I'll put a link in the description where you can buy these balloons. These are kind of special and hard to find. So I'll put a link down below the video to where you can find these guys. Go ahead and tie that off. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna twist this right into the center of our green base. So you can kind of already see it coming together. It already starts to look like a ladybug just doing that. Next we need the feet and the face. So let's go ahead and grab our black 260. And this one doesn't matter how much air you put into it really. Now you don't want to put too much because you can't twist anything, but <laughs> two or three pumps of air should be fine. And we're gonna start off with just a small loop this is gonna be a space, so you don't want it to be too big. So I'm just gonna do a loop about that big and bring your nozzle through to lock it in place. And now we're gonna do four bubbles. And these aren't gonna be super tiny bubbles, so maybe about an inch, an inch and a half long. Just do four of those. Try to get them the same size if you can. And the great thing about this ladybug is there's no marriage twist, no half pinching off walls of balloons or anything. Uh, there's nothing crazy going on here. So this is why I like it because it's fast and easy. So once you've got your four bubbles, hold on to those and grab your ladybug. And you're just going to wrap the black balloon around it and then join it back here into the mouth or the loop. And that will attach your ladybug feet onto his body. Go ahead and get rid of the rest of that. Tie it off. So there's nothing crazy going on here. So now we've got our body attached and we've got our feet and our mouth and it's awesome. <laughs> so now we're gonna go ahead and put his eyes on. So just grab yourself a little five inch round. You can also use uh, two 60s for this with like two little pinch twists, um, but the round makes it just nice and easy and quick. Let's go ahead and make yourself a bubble about that big. You don't want it to be too big because it's a little bug and I mean, I guess they are supposed to have bug eyes, but 
You don't want to be that buggy. <laughs> okay, so mine are about that big, and I'm just going to take it underneath this black loop and bring both eyes up top and then switch places with them so that they're locked on to his mouth and they're not going to pop off. So there's our ladybug so far. We've just got one more step. And actually, if you're in a hurry, you can leave him like this because he looks really cute just like this. So the next step would be to add the antenna, which just adds a little bit extra to make this super duper cute. So go ahead and grab any color you want for the antenna. I usually do black or yellow. And you just want enough air to make two small bubbles. So go ahead and let some air out. So you've just got enough in there for two small bubbles. I'm gonna cut off my excess tail here because that'll kind of weight it down. So it'll be like floppy and the other one will be sticking straight up. But anyway, go ahead and twist this guy in half. So now we've got our two bubbles there. Now we wanna shoot the air from this bubble all the way down to the end of our balloon. And I kind of showed how to do this in my last video for Mother's Day, the lilies. Um, but I'll just show you again. So what I do is I, I grab the balloon about an inch down from the end and I just fold it up like that and hold it in the palm of my hand. And then I squeeze this balloon and that will shoot it down to the end if you do it right. <laughs> There's other ways to get the air down to the end of the balloon. Um, I showed some of those other techniques in the last video, so go check that out if you are not familiar with how to do this part. And then just take it underneath your ladybug's mouth, bring it up top around the eyes, and I usually twist it a couple times just to make sure that the air is not going to slide back into the other side. So now all we have to do is draw his little eyes on. All right, so his eyes are drawn, and I usually make ladybugs with eyelashes because they're ladybugs, and they have girly eyelashes. Uh, so that's it. He's a perfect little ladybug just like this, but with uh, one little modification, we can make him into a bracelet or headband. So let me show you. I've got a little half inch black headband right here, and I've got two tails here on the bottom of my base. I've got a green tail left over from making the base. You may or may not have that, but most of you will have this red tail from the five inch round that we use for the body. So just go ahead and pull that out, and you can just wrap it around a headband and tuck it back up into the base, and just make sure everything is still cute. And you've got yourself an adorable ladybug headband and people love this. I did one for a lady working at the grocery store the other day and she wore it the whole time I was there and it looked adorable on her. She was passing out free wine samples. <laughs> and it was really cute. So let me show you one more modification we can do to this. If you want this to be a bracelet that you can wear on your wrist, really easy. I'm just going to grab one of these hair ties. Now this is like the little kid hair tie that you buy that's like all soft and elastic and there's no metal parts or anything on it, but it's not going to be too tight on a little kid's wrist, which is what I always worry about when I do bracelets and use like a balloon to make the strap around the wrist. It could be too tight. You don't want to cut off circulation or do anything like that. So these are a pretty safe bet. Um, so just grab one and just connect it by taking your tail and wrapping it around that part. So now you've got your rubber band and you just slide your hand through and it's a perfect little bracelet and you don't have to worry about it being too tight or too big either. Sometimes that's a problem if it's too loose and it doesn't sit up right. So that's how I'm making ladybugs these days. I hope you guys think it's cu as cute as I do. Let me know what you think in the comments below this video. Also, if you have suggestions for other balloons that you'd like to see me make, go ahead and leave those in the comments too. I do read everything and I love hearing all your feedback and ideas, so keep them coming. Also, if you attempt to make this balloon animal, I would love to see pictures of what you come up with. Post them on my Facebook page. The link to that is also down in the description. And I love seeing all the pictures that you guys post of the new balloon creations every week and just random stuff that you're working on. So thank you for sharing that with me. And if you're looking for some more advanced balloon tutorials, like an awesome 
cartoon mouse or train or monster high dog, go check out my website, thetwistersister.com. I've got some more advanced tutorials for sale on there for all of you overachievers out there. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you find it helpful and enjoy it. And I'll see you next week for another Tutorial Tuesday. Bye.